Oh, wow. Okay. How to evaluate opening hands in the mirror, I guess? Uh, that seems good in a bit. Also useful for finishing things off. I guess if they play... It's not very good against Battle Pando, but a random Wild Tar or some other 4 health minion. I'm definitely keeping this. I think I could ship these since I want to draw into them rather than use them early. And this is obviously my fantastic turn 1 play. Worst comes to worst, I can cycle this. So I think I'll just ship the, the late game cards. <laughs> Cut the only 2 drop. Great 8 gate, mate. 8 of 8. Why have I never heard that before? That comes together so neatly. Do I want to keep this Death Strike seal? It sort of comes online in three turns. May or may not be useful. I guess I can hold on to it on the off chance I stick the 1-1 one, one off the crypto. But chances are it'll just trade with something, so maybe I should replace this. I definitely want this, because this is a nice turn 2. Turn 2 I can go Rock plus BBS. Ping something if I need to. I guess this is also reasonable as a way to trade the crypto, but that seems inefficient. Rocks for dues. I I want to love Death Strike Seal. I still like years ago. Years ago? How long has Duelist been going? A year ago. Uh I put a Death Strike Seal on a Sojourner and killed a Dealtest tombstone with it. And I felt like a champion. An absolute god. My opponent then just, like, removed my guy. But still. What tier is it gets? On, um... One of the tier lists I got sent earlier, it is tier 1. Um, but there is a tier 0, consisting of 3 decks. Oh, there's, like, actual deck lists in here as well. I did not scroll down earlier. But I'm gonna have to have a look at this. Build some stuff. Get shut down by Prophet of the White Palm. <laughs> The sideboard hate. Okay, so this is, I guess, faster burn. Probably not it gets. We have a pretty disgusting counter to that with the two rocket up terrors that we can try and rack up. Um, so I suppose I should BBS take the center tile with a rock. Can I do anything over here? Probably not. Blood Rage Mask and this suggests my opponent is not playing many minions, so this may not do anything. So I should probably cycle it. Cycle it? Replace it. Alright. Let's put this in the safe spot. Do I need to do that? I could just leave this Marla Tile available. Come up here, put the um, the Arcane Heart the Heart Seeker where the Crypto is. That seems fine, actually. It's far enough away. I don't, my opponent can't even... No, they can't save a spine if they move. That's fine, though. <clears throat> so next on my play is probably something like shoot face, and then either attack her myself, or with a creature, um, and then use one or both boulders to get rid of the artifacts. Saving these for eight gates would be nice, but... Getting rid of these is probably better. Ooh, that would have been good with the Gotatsu, actually. <coughs> what are the other four lists? The tier one on this tier list is Eight Gates, Agrocas, Control Argian, Obelisk Xerix, Decimus Starhorn, and Arcanist Fey. That is a nice diverse tier list. Tier one, six decks, six factions. It's well good. Um... Hybrid Abyss is apparently tier 1. That was a Cobra Strike. I just got Cobra Striked. Um, I mean, I can Phoenix Fire her in the face. That seems reasonable too. And close in on her with minions. If I back right off, I can also develop another Heartseeker. And I still get to keep some board presence near my opponent with the two Rocket Up Terrors. Which is probably fine. Like, the the two two threes are enough to avoid. I mean, she can, like, Phoenix Fire, Phoenix Fire, Arcane Heart. Would be the best play there. But I'll have my heart up first. This probably doesn't do anything in this matchup. Don't need that much. That's nice. Right, 
so we know this is going here. I'm doing this. I don't fully trust tier lists because they're all biased. I mean, that is a fair point, but I don't know what else you'd meant to use, right? Yeah, I think I'll develop the Heartseeker. It seems like a good idea. Yay! This is probably useless in this matchup. I don't know if my opponent's even running any creatures whatsoever. Hand is good otherwise, though. Lots of chip damage. Plenty of random creatures on board. Heartseeker already in play. This is going well. You know what would be really spicy that you can't do? If I could play the Battle Pando and then shoot it with my own Heartseeker to trigger it, therefore triggering this. Ah, yeah, okay. She's playing like... Um, oh, you monster. Oh, wait, they're not spell damaged. It's fine. Uh, I haven't seen a Twin Strike without spell damage in so long. So she's probably playing Firestorm Mantra then. Which makes this a wee bit awkward. Third Rock, nice. Uh, so I guess I equip Crescent Spear, drop the Pando. I don't know if I bother attacking with this. I guess so, because it plays around Ghost Lightning. Clear this minion. Try and surround my opponent so I can do some melee damage. I guess if I put this here, there's no way my opponent can actually go that they can't reach. Um, we'll go face the player on Ghost Lightning, as I mentioned. Ooh, Geomancer. Excellent. Twin Strike without spell damage. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, the uh, spell damage buff off um, Crescent Spear. Second Twin Strike. No! Um, yeah, the, I, I think the gap between decks and tiers in Duelist is quite small. But it is, it's still there. It's definitely still there. Um, so I think I want to attack for three here. Plus three off this. Plus out of seven. Well, one off lethal. How many burn spells are in this deck? What can I hit that gives me lethal? Another Phoenix Fire, I don't have the mana for. Um, Gotatsu would be lethal. Crescent Spear would be lethal. The problem is to do that, I have to replace the Geomancer, which kills my opponent next time. <laughs> um, to be fair, I kill my opponent next turn, and she might combo up with Firestorm Mantra if I don't do that, so... It's not terrible. I guess I'll play this instead of the Rocket Up Terror. Um, just because the Rocket Up Terror effectively has haste on its one damage. <coughs> Placing Geomancer makes me sad. That card is so filthy. Utterly disgusting. Especially in Gauntlet. Geomancer is horrible in Gauntlet. Really unfair. <laughs> Cute. So we're going to get Mantrid. Okay, that's not too bad. Do we still have lethal? Yes. This does get the plus one, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Booyah. Um, yeah, I replaced Geomancer because if I replace the Rocket Up Terror, 
there's not many things I can draw that actually kill my opponent. I think it's just the third Phoenix Fire. Whereas that way, um, I can actually draw quite a number of things that give me lethal. Right. That's good. I I really like that deck, actually. I'll play it more. I'll stream. See if I can get some practice in before the next one. It seems like it'd be a nice deck to at least try and learn competitively. Uh, even if I don't end up taking it to a tournament. 